Welcome to the start of an exciting new series, Helix's Adventures Into the Void! What is going on, Space Cadets? This is Commander Helix 101, and welcome to the very first episode of Helix's Adventures Into the Void. Now, I actually want to do something a little bit different for the channel since I started playing Elite Dangerous Horizons and I am absolutely loving this game. If you guys haven't tried this out and you love space simulators, you have to give this a go. Since there's really not a set goal in this game, we can actually go about doing pretty much anything that we want to. It's kind of a make your own adventure type of game. And I'm hoping to have a lot of fun with it, especially since I've been actually playing with a lot of other Let's Players uh, just for fun. And maybe we can even get some episodes going on with other people all at the same time where we fly together in a wing or a group. Just to give you an example of what kind of things to expect on this game, uh, we're going to be hunting some pirates. So I've actually been trying to do this to kind of help spec out my ship that I currently have right now, which I'm flying... Let me show you the ship here. This is my my trusty vessel, the Viper MK3. Now, I've actually spec'd it out a little bit. I've already been playing this game for a little bit. Um, so I'll try to explain things here and there whenever they come up, uh, especially if you've never played the game. But uh, here's a little sample of my ship. And I also got to hurry up because I already requested to leave the space station, so I got four minutes left. Right now, we are in the G180-18 star system. So this is actually where I've been getting most of my space credits from at the moment, just from hunting down baddies and high resource extraction sites. And it, there's pretty much a lot of different things you can do. There's a, a bulletin board that I, I'll show you uh, later on in the episode, where you can actually pick quests for do, doing different things across the galaxy, either delivering shipments, hunting uh, bounties, smuggling goods, and even slave trading, which I I don't know if I want to do. I feel kind of morally odd doing that. <laughs> One thing about this game is the scale of it. It's a sandbox game with procedurally generated star systems. However, and I'm just going to bring it up here, the galaxy map. Here's just a little sample of everything that you can travel to in this game. So this is the Milky Way uh, galaxy. And we are here. We are right here. And there is all of this to explore. So hopefully down the road in the episodes that we do, we can start going around the galaxy and trying to find new planets and star systems. Uh, eventually what I'll do is I'll actually get a spaceship that's made specifically for traveling instead of uh, combat. But for now, this is my combat vessel. First, what we got to do to be able to get to this planet where we're going to be hunting bounties is we need to enter light speed. And so here it is. It's already locked on. Um, oh, I still got my landing gears on like a noob. You guys didn't see that. And away we go. Four, three, two, one, engage. Now, while we're traveling in light speed toward our destination, because it is going to take a little bit of time. As you can see, uh, time is decreasing really fast now that I've entered hyperspeed here. Uh, that's actually called the frameshift drive. So once you activate it, you start traveling and picking up speed as you're traveling. Right now I'm going, I'm picking up almost 10 mega meters per second. So right now, this is the HUD. If you've never played Elite Dangerous, this is the HUD. And it is really awesome. Uh, I have hopefully eventually will be able to get to an Oculus Rift just for this looking around. But if you look to your right or left, you get different... Uh, menus opening up that show you different things. So for example, navigation, different things that you can see. Uh, if there's any beacons that are around you where you can uh, pick up signals or even distress calls. Uh, transactions are where you're holding any uh, bounties or quests. Right now I only have a small bounty that I have towards the Alliance, so I gotta deposit that, but it's a small, small amount. Okay, see, we're, we're traveling really fast now, so... <laughs> We are approaching it very rapidly. I'm going to try to talk a little faster here. Contacts is where you see other ships around you and anything else that you can uh, notice. So it's not just ships, uh, but pretty much anything that is around your general vicinity. To the right, it shows you kind of your rank, different modules that you have attached to your spaceship. Just checking. Okay. I'm going to have to... Whoop. <laughs> Excuse me. 
I've, I've been battling a space cold, and I was just drinking some space honey and lemon tea, which was very delicious. Uh, so yeah, it, it's really cool, and we'll go into- oh shit, I gotta slow down. Ooh, gotta slow down. Really back, really back, Helix. Okay, I'm gonna slow down a little bit more. Slow down- I know, I'm slowing down! Okay, so... The first area that we're gonna be going to is just around the ring, right there, where it says resource extraction site. Now, as I get closer to it, I'll be able to drop out of hyperspeed directly into the asteroid belt. And once I'm there, then I can start looking for any ships that we're going to be hunting. So that should be fun. Oh, I love the music in this game. Honestly, it reminds me a little bit of Mass Effect when you're checking the star map. Oh, I'm, I'm a sucker for, for good music like that. What was, what's going on over here? No, I didn't target that. Okay, so, as you can see... On the left here, it says... Wait, that's not what I'm trying to reach. I'm trying to reach... There we go. So, resource extraction site. It shows you a little bar here, and this is actually a little bit different color, because I'm actually using an EMB uh, mod, just to make the game look a little nicer. And uh, my HUD is normally uh, supposed to be orange, but I changed it to this cool blue-yellow kind of theme. So over here on the right side, sorry, <laughs> whoops, left side, uh, there's a little thing, an indicator that shows in the orange, it says distance and speed. Now, once I meet those two requirements and I reach those two sections, I can drop out of hyperspace right into the, the asteroid belt and be right there without having to keep on traveling at this speed. So I'm going to pick up the speed a little bit here. I don't have a, a vehicle yet, so in Horizons, the most recent patch or update to... Elite Dangerous, they actually allowed that uh, any planet or, I guess, moon that has no atmosphere, you're actually able to drive around in it if you have access to... Uh, I don't know what the name of the, the vehicle is yet, because I haven't gotten it, but hopefully we'll do that in another episode where we adventure in the galaxy. So I'm gonna slow down. I'm gonna slow down! Oh shit! I, 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 slow down, slow down, slow down, slow down! Okay, I'm gonna drop out in light speed in a second here. Boom! Wow! Woo! So everything loads up actually pretty fast, surprisingly. For the, the scope of this game, everything really loads really fast. And um, I actually had to re-record this episode because when I was recording with OBS, it actually didn't look that good. But now that I got Shadowplay working, we're going to get some nice silky gameplay. Now, I already see some ships down here near, uh, I guess, facing down the nebula. Those little streaks down there kind of indicate that there are other ships flying around. And on my map... It looks like there's a federal ship already in front of me. Oh, looks like they might be attacking someone. Let me have a look here. Maybe let me have a look up here. There's an Imperial Eagle, Jonathan Barrett. And it'll say, yeah, so on the right, uh, left-hand side here, it says that he is wanted. Now, he's fly flying in a wing of two people, so where's the other guy? So here's his other friend, and we're gonna go take both of these guys out, but first I'm gonna scan them, make sure that I get bounties, if they have any other bounties in any other star systems here that we can get some credits for. So this guy definitely has one, because he's flying with this guy. Alright, let's rumble. Let's get rid of these shields, these pretty little shields of yours. But I'm gonna start getting attacked by the Imperial guy. On the map, it kind of shows you where they are, so I need to really get rid of his shields here. Oh, sh so I'm already getting attacked. Okay, let's try to get this guy taken out first. I got 93% health left, so I still I'm still good. I need to slow down a bit here. Oh, he's hitting actually kind of hard. Crap, I really need to get rid of that, his buddy here first. He's behind me at the moment. Okay, there he is. Let me try getting him here. Oh, crap. Oh, oh, this is not turning out as well as I... Uh-oh. Okay, so... Alright, so I'm going to try to boost out of here for a second, just so I can get some shields going. There he is, Jonathan Barrett. Okay, so, my shields are almost up, I'm going to go in and attack him. <laughs> I, I kind of got a little overzealous there. Like I said, with wings, it's, it's kind of dangerous, because if you start attacking one guy, and you're alone, then the other guys are going to attack you. So that was my... that was my mistake. 
Let's get a little closer here. So his shields are down. Oh, wow, he's going down really fast. I'm going to hit him a little bit. So I can get some bounty points here. Make sure not to shoot the cops. And boom. So that was a small... So that was a small bounty, and for the, the damage that I took, it probably wasn't worth it. Let, let's try to find another bounty around here. Maybe I'll do a little better this time around. Just look at that view, guys. That's amazing. That's something that you will get used to seeing a lot of in this game, is just the beautiful, beautiful views. Just being able to see the rings and then suddenly appear and the rocks and meteors are all in front of you is just something, something else. So it looks like I'm getting scanned by a guy here, Blackburn. Let's see, where is he? There's three of them, so they might be in a wing, so it might be a little bit dangerous to try to attack them. Let me see. So this is the guy that was scanning me. Yeah, he's in a wing of three. Now, the other thing, though, is he is getting attacked by other guys here, so that might be my chance to go in and attack the other guys, get rid of them. Let's destroy this guy here. He's gonna go down pretty fast. Bye! That's one down. Where's the other party? Oh, I'm getting attacked. Oh yeah? Let's go then. Let's go. I'm not even gonna bother scanning this guy. Now, eagles are really quick, as you can see. Just gotta make sure that I can get rid of his shields here. There we go. Oh, oh, he almost flew into me. That would have been bad. So I gotta be careful with the temperature gauge here. Come on, come on, come on. He's gonna be destroyed very quickly. I just need to make sure that I get him before his shields come back up. Yeah, he's gone. Bye, buddy. So that was a small bounty, and then there's... Oh, sweet, I got a... And look at that, I got promotion to novice. I was... Mostly harmless, but now I am a novice. So that's cool. Scan detected. Oh, I'm getting scanned by someone. Let's see, who who is scanning me? I'm trying to see if I can find them on the map here, but I'm having a bit of a hard time. Is it this guy? Yeah, so this guy is the one that's trying to scan me. He's a diamondback scout. And well, he's gonna die. So, uh, yeah. Gotta make sure that I can get rid of his shields first. Makes his shields go down. Whoa, that was a little bit close. Boost up a little bit here so I can get a target on him. Uh, where is he? There he is. Alright, so now that his shields are down, we're just gonna lay it on him. Just slow down here a second. Okay, gotta be careful. Can't shoot the, the police or else they're gonna go after me, and that is gonna be a bad idea. Alright, here we go. Here we go. Got a good line, and fire away. Oh, oh, be careful. Damn it, police, stop getting in my way. I am the law in space. 42%. It's good. Just trying to fly away a little bit. Uh, shields are back up. Gotta break through those shields here. Okay, they're. Well, that was fast. <laughs> Sorry, buddy. Now, normally there are other strategies that you can do, especially with bigger ships. You can target specific points of their ship, like their power supply or power generators. So that can really help in disabling your opponents, so that way they're not... They're just kind of flying aimlessly around space and trying to figure out what the hell to do next. Oh, he's gonna die here. He's gonna die here. Bye, buddy. Boom. Rest in peace. Alright. So I'm gonna see if I can get Kyle on here. Let's see if I can send him a message. So, Kyle. I'll just send him a message here, though. 
was trying to call you. You are in this episode, by the way. Lol, 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 lol. Because that's how we talk in space. We talk in cryptic language code that no one can understand. Well, your name at least. Winky face. Alright, sorry Kyle, maybe in another episode, but that's really something that I want to try to do with you guys is get you on these episodes if you are playing Elite Dangerous because it is such an awesome game to play with other people. I've played actually with Zachary from the Button Masher Bros and we're actually planning on doing eventually something pretty fun with it, so keep an eye out for that in the future. Uh, what I'm going to do now is, since I've already got enough bounties done, I'm going to travel back to... Let's not go to Lowell City, but let's dock... Uh, I gotta find in this, this system map here. We're gonna go to... I'm trying to remember the name of it. <laughs> uh, it's with an H. Hailport. Okay, so we're gonna go to Hailport. And once we get there... Where is it? Just gotta face it. Oh, here we go. Ah, Kyle! Let's see. Alright, so let's accept here and see what happens. You there? Check one, two. I have no clue what I'm supposed to press. Can you hear me? Back. Uh, can you hear me? Voice comms to Commander Helix 101 open. I don't think you can hear me. No, I can't hear you. Is there a button we press to talk? Hmm, that's odd. I like how he said Commander Helix 101. That made me that made me feel tickly in my pants. Well, if this is just a technical issue for this episode and then we figure out what we're oh, what's going on? Oh, I gotta get rid of hard points. If this is just a technical issue, I'm hoping that I can get it fixed uh, for another future episode. But for now, you guys can hear him, I think. I think this actually records his voice. And if it doesn't, then, wow, I, I'll figure it out. But Kyle is playing right now. Kyle Blaine, if you haven't checked out his channel, I'll put it in the link below. Check one, two, Kyle. Check one, two, Commander Kyle Blaine. Helix 101 reporting. There's an identified signal source that we're going to avoid because it's probably a trap. And I only have 48% health left. Space cadets, we will figure this out. This is just episode one after all, and there are bugs bound to happen. Actually, I feel like, like talking more like a captain. I think it'll be prudent to traverse the universe. Well, actually, it's not the universe, it's only the galaxy. Damn it, Helix! You had one job! One job! And if you've never seen the spaceports in this game, because I didn't actually get a chance to fly around and show you, you're in for a treat. Oh, yeah, that's amazing. Uh, looks like Kyle is getting it sorted out. He knows how to change direct chat, so hopefully we we'll might be able to talk to him a little bit here right before this episode ends. But here is the spaceport that we're going to be docking in. It really reminds me of the Borg ship almost in Star Trek. Let's... we always want to make sure that we request docking permit or else we're going to get shot down by the space popo and that ain't good for no one. Okay. Ooh, 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 ooh. Don't want to hit that. That was close. Okay, so we got a dock at docking port 19. Now, I like to come in a little bit fast here since I've been getting used to already docking. And I'll message Kyle here in a second here once I land the ship. And I'm going to show you too what it looks like. Oh, shit! Oh, that was a little embarrassing. That's what I get for talking and thinking about what I want to do next for, for the, the episode and not paying attention to how fast I'm coming in. I also forget that the first ship that you get in the, the game is called the Sidewinder. It's actually a lot easier to slow down than it is the, the Viper. Here, oh, just look at to line it up and boom. That's how commanders land ships, everyone. If you go to contacts, you're going to see that. I got 99,000 credits just for shooting down a few little ships, which is pretty good. Um, 
Obviously, I would want to get a little bit more from hunting the bigger ships, but I didn't see any during this episode, so hopefully we'll run into something like that in another episode. And we'll travel around. This is just the first star system that you're getting a chance to see. I'm going to try to explore and show you guys around the place. <laughs> and by place, it is a very big place. So this was the first episode of Helix's Adventures into the Void. I hope you guys enjoyed it, and check out for other episodes on the channel. We're going to be trying to do this uh, whenever I can. It's going to be a little bit different than the other series that I have going on, but I hope you enjoyed either way. And as always, I will see you all in the next level.